We are absolutely <laughs> captivated by this little one. He's extraordinary. Uh, as are his mum and dad, Ben Thank and Kate, and his little so baby dad, brother Dax, <laughs> who's sitting there. Thank you. And of darling. course, <laughs> he's getting a little bit. I think we've just woken him up, didn't we? There we go. Okay, Dad. This is what you created yes. for Sol. <laughs> You're giving me that. Shall I give you this? Where's this is arm? amazing, isn't it? This, your, this is your arm, Sol. And well, it mine just, will stay on without the mitt. And it, and it pops on like that. Now, yeah. Sol lost his left arm just mm -hmm. after birth, didn't he? Yes. And uh, the prospects for him getting the right sort of arm on the NHS were pretty dim, weren't they? For three years, yes. Um, and then it's a hit and miss as well, whether they'll respond to an electric arm. It's, uh, yeah. So you decided to be a superhero for your Thank son, you. frankly, uh, and you spent a long time researching YouTube videos. Yes. Thank goodness for the internet. Absolutely. And you decided to develop an arm for Sol, which he's wearing comfortably now. Thank you very much indeed. And um, what's this then? What is this? Is this the arm that Daddy made for you? He says you're off script. <laughs> That's my script. He looks like a proper newsreader, doesn't he? He, he does. <laughs> and you printed this on a 3D printer? I, yeah, I have to say I've had an awful lot of help. Really? Um, everybody that I've spoken yeah, to about the project has just it's responded safe. amazingly and has, has given me more expertise and access to equipment. Yeah. And um, uh, it's, it's been a phenomenal journey over the last 12 months. But uh, yes, this was printed off in Bangor University on a couple of different kinds of printer. It's not the simplest thing to do, I should imagine, <laughs> making a bionic arm, Ben. Where do you start? I, I don't know. I, I, um, I t we started with the NHS arm, so he was given his first one um, at uh, 12 months of age, which is a fibreglass socket similar to the shape of that one and a silicon hand on the end. And I took it to Bangor University and Wynne Griffith, oh, the chief technician there, oh. scanned it using a £20,000 scanner. Right. So we got a really detailed image oh. that could then be used in a design software package. So what was it like the first time you made one, Ben, that actually... Oh, we're oh now I've, we're having I've... fun because we're making a mess now. <laughs> but the first time yeah. you got the arm and you gave it to him, yeah. it's gone on the floor. And, and he started wearing it. Uh, yeah, every, every single one has taught me something different. So the, the whole idea with prototyping is you, you look at it, you find out what he's going to chuck that, I think. Can I have that, please, mister? <laughs> <laughs> Good lad. Uh, yeah. as well. So yeah, I mean, I mean, as soon as I printed this one, I noticed there's there's two Thank new you. two new things that need to change. Are you being all right? He's being lovely. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, point. now we're doing some drawing. <laughs> and mum, for yeah. you, you know, it's obviously it was Thank a you. massive Thank challenge. You just given birth, you had the trauma of your little boy losing his arm. Dad then stepping in, giving up his work to create something which could potentially change Soul's life and other children's lives as well. Yes. Extraordinary it, for you. Very, extremely. I'm very proud of him. Oh. Uh, there were times when, um, obviously, uh, very difficult times. And, uh, <laughs> when you say difficult, was that because the time and the hours that he was away? Because he was in his shed at the end of the garden, so Exactly. Wasn't he? Everything that we've been through and then not seeing uh, my partner, um, you were, well, let's just say, very driven. <laughs> <laughs> You can't, I imagine, that, and undoubtedly, there was some sort of obsession for you because you were desperate mm. to make this the best it could possibly be for your little boy. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, the idea came to me. Well, I've, I've been thinking about it since the, you know, since the amputation, about how I was going to try and get some function there. Um, he's got a very, very short piece of bone. So if it had been slightly longer, like a, a longer wrist, he might be able to operate like a lever mechanism. <laughs> Tell you what you can do is you can play with an iPad. He's he pretty good with the iPad. I love him. So, uh, but yeah, but one night I, um, I saw a spider on the ceiling as I was lying there in bed at night trying to think how to go forward. And I remember something I'd seen on a nature program about spiders using fluid to operate their legs. And I thought, that's a good idea. So the idea then turned into a prototype and I just kept churning through them until I got something that I knew he could operate with the, you know, the power I can yeah. feel in his and elbow. And that's what we have now. And that's going to continue is, to develop. Yeah, yeah, continue to develop, yeah. Awesome stuff. Well, thank you so thank much you. for coming in. Um, Sol, it's delightful to meet you. Thank you. You've been absolutely brilliant keeping Ben in check <laughs> this morning. Someone and, needs um, to. There you go. You're very trusting. Uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> Look at that. And I'm glad, so that, so. I'm glad that he popped out of his shed long enough for Dax to appear. So, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> congratulations on the baby. Right. <laughs> Great well, to see lovely. you all this morning. Thank oh, you very lovely. much. Thank, Thank you. you.